Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about accept the QR code payments with Stripe in the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So, so we have server.js, env. In the public, we have to create three files, index.html success and the cancel. Okay, you have to install the package that is Stripe. If you don't have installed the express, so make sure you have to install the express also. .env by default in the 19 version, it's not necessary. Okay, so you can skip it out. Okay, so let's dive into the code. So this is my index.html, which is currently working fine. So here we have express, path, stripe and the .env. Okay, so from the .env, you have a stripe secret key. So you can define this variable, add your secret key from the stripe okay so only the secret key you require okay after this we are using the static path from the public so we are going to get the index.html success or the cancel so we are using that express static path right express json we are using for the like the so it can accept the json part now we have a create checkout session where we are going to create a session for the stripe Right, so here we have to pass the card, payment, price data, currency, name of the product, demo QR code, unit amount, okay, and the quantity. Here we have to pass the success URL and the cancel URL, right? And it will turn you the session URL. If something goes wrong, it will go with the console that error creating the checkout session, right? And the port will be listed on the 3000, okay? Now we have index.html, what we will do, so here we have adding the QR min.js for the QR code, npm build, right? And here we have QR code, we have a button that generate the QR code and then you can scan it and pay the things, okay? So let's do, here we are going to pay button and here we are going to call the create session URL. After this, in the QR code.canvas, if we get the data.url, then we are going to, with the help of the QR code.toCanvas, we are going to generate the QR code otherwise fail to create the payment session if the URL is not there then in the success that the payment successfully done if not then it will go with the cancel screen so currently I am on the local host so maybe because I'm going to scan it from the mobile phone like okay so let's take a look of this code base so here we can go that with that like generate the payment QR code we are getting this payment and from the, any of your application you can just open it I'm going to use my camera to open this I'm going to scanning now I'm going to open it and let's I'm doing the payment okay so so currently in the transaction there is a no payment it's 1.50 if I'm going to just do the payment I'm going to add the email okay for one 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 i'm going to just i'm just scanning it i'm just adding the numbers okay and it's 28 over cvv number full name i'm going to add my name india okay pay processing yeah it go to the because local host will not work here okay so let's do transaction so currently it's uh, like one and it should be something nine, 9.9. .9. So here you can see that it's my name, right? So here you can see that 9.9 .9. and it is payment method is done. Okay. And uh, anything. Yeah. So here you can see that with the QR code generation, we had successfully done with the payment. Okay. Any doubt, any query, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.